The first tip is for backdrops. So I like to use either wrapping paper or some mini backdrops that you can find at the Target Dollar Spot and Dollar Tree. I however don't like it to be too busy, so I use the inside of the wrapping paper, which is normally just white. Next up are my prep tools. So I like to use baby wipes, a mini cordless vacuum, and this one I love. It's super small, compact, and you can empty it really easily. Plus it comes with two detachable heads so that you can fit in all those tiny little crevices. And last but not least is a steamer because wrinkles happen all the time with various clothing items, especially ones that you've been storing or not wearing. This one is my favorite so far because it's small enough to take everywhere with me and it came with this cute bag. And my last go-to is wire hangers as well as other types of hangers and I'll show you what I do with these in a little bit. So now it's time to prep my items and get them ready to take pictures for. So I'm going to show you me using all of these tools that I just talked about. So first up is baby wipes. These are obviously good for getting off any dust if you've had items that have just been laying around that you haven't been using. They're also perfect to use on small stains. So I keep them handy whenever I'm taking photographs for Poshmark or Mercari. After I wiped this down, I decided to take out the mini vacuum because there were a few crumbs left over in the pits of this bag and I also like using this vacuum for my personal purses whenever I'm changing bags because I always have crumbs everywhere and it's just such a cool thing because I don't have to get out the entire vacuum to vacuum so I'm just going through all the pockets and vacuuming it up just in case there's anything in there. I thought it would be helpful to include the sound of it so that was unedited and exactly how loud this vacuum is. It's small, but it's mighty. Once I've fully inspected an item, I will go ahead and take pictures of it. So I've already laid out my wrapping paper and I'm just placing the bag right on top and I'm making sure to include the strap in this photo because I do have the accessory and I want to show that it comes with it. Next, I like to measure each item. That way I don't get a billion questions about how big it is, how tall it is, how wide it is, how many pockets, and so forth. So I like to take notes while I'm taking pictures. Other items that are good for the flat lane method are small t-shirts as well as baby items and shorts. So I'm just taking pictures of this dress. I want to include that it has a petticoat slash lining as well as the brand and size. I like to take a picture of that and also of the back. The notes for this one is going to be the measurements as well as what type of closure it is. For this particular item, it's going to be buttons and a tie. Another item I was taking photos of was this pair of jeans. So you can do a flat lay of certain areas, however your wrapping paper is only going to be so wide and unless you want to get out a stool and multiple pieces of wrapping paper, sometimes it's just better to do a hanging photograph. So what I do for this is I grab a wire hanger and I'll bend the end of the hanger, which is why you need it to be a wire hanger, and I'll shove it in between the door and then I can also lock the door so that I'm still safe if I'm home by myself. And I'll take another hanger and hang up the item onto the wire hanger. <laughs> Sounds complicated, but it's not. If you're wondering why I don't use a conventional over the door hook, it's because none of them will fit on this door. I've tried multiple kinds and this is just what works and is best for me. So if you are also running into the same problem, give a wire hanger a try with this method. So here I'm just hanging up the items and I'm steaming them, taking photographs of them. And this is literally the process. I'll take pictures of the front, the back, and then as I go on to the next item, I'll steam that one and so forth and so on.
in case you missed any tips you can always go back but I also have all of these tips listed as well as a little bit of some bonus tips listed on my blog so go ahead and check that out it's www.maddieautumnfaith.com it'll also be in the description box below all right i'll see you guys in the next one bye